was this how bad it was. Yeah. <laughs> All right, today we're going to uh, try to get this Pippin on chains. Another mild day. Gotta get all that loose. Uh, tire rod got to come off the left side. The right side got to come all the way off. Also, I got play going up and down on my steering. But we're going to check all that out today. All right. I just got my tie rod uh, cotter pins out. You already know it's two. Then coming back with it with the 15 on the bottom and three quarter or 19 on the top. Definitely come in handy to have an open box. Definitely. Also, just in case you want to know how bad it was, this how bad it was. Yeah. Both tie rods off. Working on the brace now. Oh, the big key though. On the brakes. Braces thirteen. All right. Turns out it's a thirteen on both sides. It's a thirteen on both sides. Brace off. <laughs> and the boat going through the pigment arm is also <laughs> a 13. You don't want to run him, dude. Oh, yeah, I give him that trailblazer. <laughs> and the trailblazer. <laughs> I mean, you gotta push the nigga. I mean, you gotta push the boat down. Oh, you shit. The boat got to come out. That does it. Damn, I can't get the frame over there. Got to get this extension in there. Uh, it should be a punch over there. You use that punch and a hammer. Hmm. Right there on the front, right there. On the Renegade, you can leave them two side ones, and these the two that need to drop down. All right, we're gonna go in to hit those on the inside to the fan. Those two right there. And again, not these two on the side, but these two in the front. The right side bolts was not welded, but they broke. We're gonna try the left side. <laughs> the left side didn't break, they came out. They came out, they didn't break. Yeah, 
Shoot. You just have to get bound up. Bro, it's bound up there. Shoot. 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 Cause my issue. Uh, oh, new. Everything look about the same. Maybe the, the part on the spine is tight or something. We got less in there. Got less teeth on this one. I can't. I can't. I can't roll it. Oh. <laughs> All right, I can't squeeze this tight enough to stop it from going. That's the old one. And he got a new one that comes with a grease fitting. And that's how hard it is to make it move. So I guess that's gonna be the difference between the old and new new. It is a pinch on the shaft and on the pigment on to help you put it on correctly the first try. You gotta spit on it. Yeah, it's already up there. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. The new pigment goes up all the way to a point to where you have to put the bolt in and it'll stop where it needs to stop it. Maybe put the 13 on there. Gotta get my hand in there. Oh, that's what you're taking this. Alright. It came and turned. Like, yeah, it's tight now. It, yeah, it's tight. It came turning. Alright, my steering is now fixed. Let's see, that's tight. So, you hear that noise? It's tight. So it ain't got that much play no more. All that two inches of play. I can't even get nothing out of it. I'm satisfied, boom, easy, f well shit, wasn't easy fix, but I say you actually can get it done within two hours. So give it a shot, uh, pitman arm, if you got like maybe two inches of play left and right in your handlebars, pit me on.